Jonathan from Rain Brothers here. We wanted to go over how to install a YZ Vortex filter. Um, the installation on a scale of 1 to 10 is about a 6 in terms of difficulty, uh, but it's definitely very doable for an average homeowner. First thing we want to do is, if you can see here, we got stone a stone base. We got about 4 inches of 304 limestone, which is what uh, we call it up here in Ohio. It's, it's it, the name of it is different, or the number is different uh, everywhere, basically every state. But in here, it's 304 limestone, which is about uh, one inch to crush limestone. Um, it's a good compactable base. We got four inches of that down and uh, tamped with it with a tamper so that it's nice and compact. Then we accounted for we have our our downspout drain line coming in here. This is four inch SDR 35, um, which is what fits this, this belled end. It's a belled and gasketed fitting on the YZ. Uh, you will need four inch SDR 35, also called four inch thin wall. It's a, it's a sewer and drain pipe. Um, that is what fits inside that gasket, inside that bell. Um, so we have that and then we adapted it to our schedule 40 four inch drain line from the downspouts with a four inch rubber no-hub coupling uh, right here. Um, we have eight inches, so from where the water goes into the YZ to where the clean water exits the YZ on the other side here, there's an eight inch drop in the, in the pipe elevation. So we factor for that eight inch drop, and then we have an inlet uh, slope down toward the cistern to go into the cistern, that's carrying clean water into the cistern. On the other side, on the exact opposite side of the YZ, is what we call a trash outlet. This will carry uh, debris through the YZ and out to an overflow point, and we'll, we'll daylight that down the hillside there. Uh, this also has a drop from, from the clean water outlet to here, and it's, it's another two inch drop on that side. Um, so we want we made sure that this this vortex filter is nice and level. In or, uh, it works at the highest efficiency when the unit is perfectly level, as that will uh, suspend that water around the vortex for a longer period of time, so it doesn't just drain straight through it. It actually uses centrifugal force to spin around that vortex unit, around the filter unit, and and clean the water that's going in the cistern. The last step in all this is to seal up all the joints on the on the YZ. Now this this uh, fitting here, this top piece actually swivels so that you can pick an angle for how you want this clean water or for the, the downspout water to enter the YZ. And this swivel joint is right here. It's right in the middle of the vortex unit. It is gasketed, uh, but um, it's a good idea to use some silicone to put a bead of silicone around that seam, make sure it's sealed nice and tight. Same with this gasketed fitting here. We'll run a bead of silicone around this pipe, all the way around, all the way around that seam. And then when we put this, this, this is the riser for the unit. When we put this riser on the body of the vortex, we'll also put some silicone there, uh, put it in place and then screw it, screw it down. So again, you wanna seal all those joints Make sure it's perfectly level. Make sure you got your pipe elevation so that you have plenty of fall coming from the downspouts. And then again, plenty of fall going to your cistern. Ideally, you want uh, several inches of fall going into the cistern, even if the YZ is, is very close. Just in case this settles a little bit, it doesn't. we don't want the pipe, uh, the pipe slope to be thrown off. We don't want that pipe to now start running uphill. So if you put it several inches above your inlet and your cistern, even if this vortex does settle a little bit, it still will be sloping down and going into the cistern. After this point, we will backfill the rest of this with that 304 stone and get a good uh, compacted um, backfill around it. And that's all there is to it.